Hello! Welcome back to another plan with me. I am going to do another memory spread in my Aura Estelle uh, A5 Blossom. Uh, and I'm going to do the week of uh, Monday, April 26th through Sunday, May 2nd. So I'm going to uh, use... this kit uh, from Christine's Paper Studio. So this was from her, I got this at the Made in Canada collab sale. How pretty are these boxes? This is like the perfect way to end April and kick off May with these nice pastel yellows and pinks with the gold foil. Oh, I'm in love. Uh, so this was a little freebie that came in the Made in Canada collab sale. And then the washi headers. Like this kit is perfection. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and the base down and then I will uh, come back and we'll do the day by day. productive blog writing day. the munchkin from once more with love and the right script is planner kate uh, so i also noted that i went for a run
this script is from SPC and the treadmill girl is simply a mess, I believe. Uh, I don't actually run on the treadmill. The treadmill is uh, horrendous and I would rather watch paint dry with hands tied behind my back for like four days. Uh, so I just did a 10K run this day uh, and then I did my usual coffee run after. pretty much go to the coffee shop after every single run. So a little coffee run, and then I made cookies. This box is from CD Stickers. And this little cookie is from Scribble Prince Co. Uh, so I baked cookies that day. Uh, and that's it for Monday. So on Tuesday, I had Brie home with me. So we went for a early walk in the morning. Uh, and then I hunkered down and got a ton of social content done. I didn't pull a right script, so maybe I will just use this for walking the dog. Didn't pull a walk script either. Wow, I'm really on a roll, hey? Eh? All the stickers I want to use, I can't get off the sheet. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever had this issue. I could not get a single sticker off of the sheet. So I have removed what I can and I have put it in a sticker book. Um, I just 
just used a Christine's Paper Studio kit not long ago. Two weeks ago, I think. Let me see. Yeah, two weeks ago, because last week I used a Simply a Mess. Uh, and I did not, I had a problem with like one or two of the little tiny stickers, but that I believe was just user error. So I don't really know what happened here, but all is well that ends well. I have salvaged stickers. So now I just need to remember where I was. Tuesday. Oh yeah, social content. Um, with Brie and then I just had a lazy night And I'll just put some deco down here. Uh, so on Wednesday, it was plank day. Uh, so there is a event tech platform and they do a networking event every Wednesday. So not straight. Uh, every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Pacific. So it's first thing in the morning for me, which is now getting very difficult with all of the heat if I happen to be running on that particular day. Uh, so that's becoming a little bit of a problem, but it forces me to make sure that I'm getting up and ready before 7 a.m. Uh, so I'm just gonna write plank. Oh, and then right after the plank, I hopped on a the last session of the Go West virtual series. So like ridiculously not straight. And I think it's gonna take more than a hope and a prayer. Yep. So we're just gonna leave that alone. So I'm just gonna write in there, go west virtual. Uh, usually go west takes place in Alberta, in Edmonton. Uh, every either late January or February, uh, you know, when it's like minus 30 degrees Celsius outside. So that's always fun. So it was a huge disappointment to not be able to go this year, but safety first because of COVID. So this was the virtual and I know that they are working on plans for Go West 2022 and I am here for it. Um, so you can pretty much guarantee I'm gonna go to that. Uh, then after that, I went for a run So this day I ran 13K and then I went for a coffee run.
Laptop is Paper Bits Co. The shoe is Murdoch Talks. The run script is SPC. The coffee run script is Murdoch Talks. And this little iced coffee is from Planner Kate. Uh, and then I did just some writing content. When the feeling strikes, take it and go. There's the first half of the week. Looking pretty fab. Okay, on to Thursday. Had the dog, so we went for a walk. Munchkin walking the dog is once more with love. And this walk script is from Christine's Paper Studio, which I do believe is from an oop sheet and has zero imperfections in it whatsoever to me. Uh, so then I had my usual GEC meeting with a very needy dog. She was seriously lacking attention or something this day. Uh, and then on this meeting, we came up with a campaign idea. Now one of my hairs is stuck in there, that's going to drive me nuts. Uh, a campaign that is currently in progress for this month that we are actually in, which is June. Um, so... I'm going to use this little princess from Once More With Love. Uh, so it's called 1001 Event Profs. So we are trying to get 1001 Event Profs to donate at least $10 to the Global Events Collective for a documentary that we are uh, storyboarding and planning to launch once we have enough funds raised to be able to put that documentary together. Uh, and we're also gonna launch a podcast so that we can start deep diving into some of the stories that we are getting, whether they make it into the documentary or not. It's a way to engage uh, with event planners or with people that have attended events uh, to help the general public better understand what goes into planning corporate events uh, and how they're useful and how they benefit uh, the tourism, hospitality sectors and our economy in general. Um, and then there was the press conference. Hmm. It's small. This is from So Cute Planner. It's me staring at my laptop hoping for good news. Uh, and then on Friday, you're never gonna believe what I did. I got up and went for a run.
Uh, and then I had a meeting and I got some work done. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. down here. I'm going to pull white box just to kind of break this up a little bit. So I worked for a little bit and had a meeting with a prospect uh, and then I went for a walk and I met one of my besties downtown. Uh, she walked with me to the running room because I had to go pick up my virtual race packet. actually have that much to mark. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's an oversight on my part. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Um, hmm. I wonder if I have like a little shopping bag or something I can use. And then I could put in here, pick up race packet. And then as we do, we were walking and we stopped at the Cactus Club at English Bay for some cocktails. Um, but there's no judgment. I got a little bit of work done. She quit her job. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Husbands are really gonna hate us this summer. Uh, and then we just lazed around that night. I wasn't super hungry. Was it warm? That It must have been warm that day. So um, we just sat around, caught up on the PVR on Saturday. It was May. So I like that there's two of them there. These Hello Month stickers are from the Pretty Pink Co. So Hello May. And the pink background box is also Pretty Pink Co. Um, so we went to Purebred First Thing. walked over to purebred and got some goodies because I was heading out to uh, have a 
not technically allowed picnic with two of my best friends because one of them was moving uh, that the following weekend. So this was like her last weekend of being f free. She's got a uh, not a newborn anymore because she's seven months old, but um, she's got a baby and then she's got a very, very hyper active. How old is Ben? Seven? I think he's seven. All the days and years blend in together. Um, so I got to meet Ellie for the first time. So that was exciting because she was born in October. And then we had mass restrictions that were still in place. But I mean, honestly, do you think I'm not going to say goodbye to my best friend before she moves nine hours away from me? Uh, so I, that is for purebred and then we had our bestie date so I'm going to put this on a yellow box because we are just rays of sunshine what Lisa didn't know is that two of her best friends were up to something What were we up to? I have a photographer friend that um, we used for our engagement party slash surprise wedding. Uh, she was there capturing the astonishment of everyone who I'm pretty certain was guessing we were going to have an engagement that was going to be equal to or longer than our dating, living together, the pre-marriage relationship. Uh, so I reached out to her because she did a photo shoot with some best friends because one was moving. Um, and I said, hey, that looks like fun. Do you think we could do something like that that is a surprise. And Joe said, I'm all ears. Um, I'm going to disappoint her one day if I ask for her to do a photo shoot and it's not a surprise. I think she's going to be thoroughly disappointed. But um, she was available and she was, she kept the day totally wide open for us. She was really good. She captured, uh, I was literally driving back towards the city and I was getting a headache from all of the laughing and smiling that we did. Um, so we pulled it off. Lisa had no idea. Was she disappointed because she didn't doll herself up? Probably a little but not much because she's Lisa. She doesn't really care. Um, we had so much fun. The kids had fun. I think uh, Ben was most excited for the balloons. He thought that it said Ben. He thought we were giving him a going away party. So that was super cute. Um, Lisa was shocked. Ellie was adorable. We laughed until our faces hurt. We cried because she's leaving. Um, oh yeah, and then we ate the purebred treats, which I actually think Ben might have been more excited for that. It was a coffee espresso cake. I'm sorry, Lisa. Um, so after that, I met Jason, Brett, and my sister in Abbotsford at Fieldhouse because uh, they had done some disc golfing. My sister practiced some manual driving. And then, oh yeah, because I had Brett's car. So my sister wanted to do some more manual training, I guess. Um, so I took Brett's car because it's an automatic and then they all took my car. So then they took their car back. We took one set of their keys and then we met them at their house. And uh, we just did dinner there. I think we might've played games, but definitely dinner for Jersey's. Uh, so that night I had a horrible sleep because my 
wonderful husband is a snorry pants. Um, so when he woke up, I was on the sofa. So I've got this little uh, girl from Planner Kate. So I had planned to do my BMO 8K this day. You had to do your whatever race you could. There were four race distances: five, eight, twenty-one, and forty-two K. So you could do like I think it was Dynasty or Legacy. I can't remember what it was called, and it was all four distances. Um, while I would have loved that, my body is in no condition to be able to do a five, an eight, a twenty-one, and a forty-two in the span of thirty days, thirty-one days. Um, so I had planned on doing it, doing the 8k on Sunday so that in a couple of weeks I could do the 21 just to give myself enough time to get in another long run taper and to push myself for the 8k, which I'd never done before. 8k I think is five miles. Um, but we did it anyways and Jason wanted to come with and he knew and was very well aware that I was doing my race. So if he wanted to stop and walk, he could, but I would not be doing 10 and one intervals. This was, I was tr treating it kind of like a 5K where you gotta push it as much as you can because it's a shorter distance. Uh, I did stop to walk once, mainly to blow my nose because, you know, allergies. Uh, Jason kept up for the first, he was there for the first four. We ran into Derek uh, on the seawall and he was doing, a, he's training by heart rate. So he was doing a super slow run and I was running too fast for him. So for anyone that knows, Derek is speedy and we've had a couple of bets in the past revolving around running, all of which I have lost. Um, so it actually felt good and it gave me a little bit more motivation to keep pushing the pace. So he went, he was finishing his run. He ran with us for, I don't know, like half a K. Uh, and then he turned around. That's when Jason took a walk break and I just kept hoofing it back home. Um, I did pretty awesome. I think my average was 545 a kilometer, which for someone who has been seriously injured, that's pretty amazing. Um, then I went for a walk. Did I? Oh yeah, we all went for a walk, because obviously. Um, me, Jason, and the dog. And naturally we wound up at the Wicklow on their patio. When we got home, I had to get on the phone. So we were at the Wicklow. Um, ooh, two yellow boxes right beside one another. No sorry. So we were at the Wicklow, Jason, uh, pulled out his credit card to use because I had received an alert uh, for a transaction that didn't look like mine and I knew that as soon as I hit no I didn't do this my card was on hold so we used his card and it declined because they put a hold on both credit cards well done Royal Bank that was super helpful thank god we had a debit card with us uh, so as soon as I got home, I hopped on the phone and sat on hold with RBC for like 45 minutes uh, to get a hold of their fraud department. And then after that, I had a bubble bath. If you don't have something self-care wise after you've been on hold with the bank, what are you even doing with your life? Okay, so there's the second half. I'll zoom out.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this all in, find some deco for down here, and then I will come back and wrap up the video. struggles to get the boxes off totally worth it and I'm not again I've used her kit one kit of hers before or two and I have no problems uh, other than me sometimes being a little aggressive with stickers which happens on occasion uh, so that's my plan with me for this week I will be back next week with another plan with me it might actually go up the same week it will just depend on uh, how quickly I can get everything filmed and edited. So if it's not this week, I will see you next week. And otherwise, I might you might see me Saturday or Sunday, or at least my hands. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.